Hi everyone, I'm Yasir Bandar from Mainland Sports. So we all know Sri Lanka is touring Bangladesh these days and Sri Lanka is supposed to play three to eternities days and uh, the first is done and dusted and today we are having another exciting game. Uh, so what an amazing game was the and it was such a nail biter. Uh, it was run towards the very last delivery uh, of the first T20. Uh, of course, uh, as soon as Sri Lanka completed their inning, uh, we all thought, okay, this is going to be a very comfortable win for Sri Lanka because Sri Lanka managed to uh, post a humongous total of 206 and of the 20 overs but uh, who knew uh, Bangladesh would be uh, the chase would be that rapid and they would come that near uh, at the uh, end of the inning so uh, I need to uh, uh, dig down to a bit of uh, that game as well actually I was very happy the way that Sri Lankans uh, took off their uh, batting but of course I had certain worries about the bowling aspects because like uh, we saw how amazing uh, was uh, Angelo Matthews the other day the other night he was uh, tremendously uh, performing with the ball but uh, same time many spectators uh, were trolling Amatisha uh, Patrana the other day um, actually uh, I definitely need to say for the all the uh, cricket loving and cricket enthusiastic uh, spectators Amatisha Patrana is a bright prospect for the Sri Lankan future he definitely will be the spearhead in the near future as well and so also for any cricketer for any bowler there can be a good day as well as a bad day so that wasn't the day for Matisha Patrana he really messed around and uh, the other days uh, Matisha Patrana happened to uh, fire out uh, bites but the on the uh, first day itself uh, he had uh, some no bowl issues as well so I think uh, Matisha Patrana will address those issues and come strong on this particular game and also uh, especially uh, Charita Salanka as the uh, captain who was uh, taking care of because uh, Vanidu Hasranga, uh, our captain, uh, has a ban of uh, two games after the Zimbabwe uh, series, the incident which uh, took place uh, with uh, umpire Hannibal. And uh, so Charita Salanka was uh, doing a decent job uh, on the other day, but still, uh, what my personal uh, view, personal point of view was like, uh, we can simply sense if the bowler is having a good day or a bad day. So Matisse Patina fired his very first over uh, in a very uh, good and an economical way, but afterwards, uh, his second and third overs were really going for a flyer. So I think it wasn't the brightest idea to uh, hand him the ball on the uh, 19th over. So I think uh, that wasn't a very good uh, decision by uh, Captain Aslanka. So I personally believe if uh, the ball was given or was handed over to Angelo Matthews, the result would have been quite different uh, because uh, Matija Patina conceded 18 runs in the, the 19th over. So like it was a very costly and it really risked the uh, Sri Lankan uh, victory or the decision as well. So but luckily Tasun Chanaka uh, coming and just doing uh, in the final over and also need to uh, speak about the Bangladeshi batting as well. A few years back I remember Mushfika Rahim, uh, the game was on the Bangladeshi's hand but still Mushfika wanted to go for that glory shot. So I think I, I, I have actually have seen uh, these in a lot of uh, Bangladeshi players. I, I mean like when the game is in their hands they always try to uh, finish the game with a glory uh, rather than uh, having the simple basics in their hand and uh, winning the game for their team. So uh, the same thing uh, replicated uh, in the previous game as well. They simply tried to go for the glory shot uh, in the last over because it was quite terrible in a 320. Eight runs was required in the uh, final over, but uh, they completely missed it there. I mean, like they just tried to overdo the stuff, uh, resulting the uh, defeat for the Bangladesh as well. And also, need to say, uh, Bangladesh have really improved throughout the years. And also, don't uh, forget, guys, there are a lot of uh, talented Bangladesh young uh, players uh, who are actually playing the BPL and also like they are exposed for a lot of uh, T20 franchises and uh, T20 games so because of all this stuff they are a strong team but they definitely need to make up the mindset and also they need to execute the game plans if they want to run strong uh, in this uh, particular format so uh, this is a very important pace for both the teams before the uh, World Cup as well because the World Cup is hitting in the around the corner so uh, all the teams are ex experiencing and also like they are uh, having uh, their uh, options tested. So uh, I think it is a great opportunity for both the teams to uh, come up and see what their uh, capacities and what their powers and strengths are and also what are their weaknesses as well. So with all this stuff, I guess uh, the toss will be another vital uh, toss today. And uh, I think I personally believe uh, if the uh, whoever the uh, team uh, wins the toss, uh, they need to have a bat first because always having runs on the board with, would be uh, quite good and also like uh, the due factor won't be that uh, an alarming factor on this particular game as well. So like two uh, games are to be set, so let's see what happens. 
uh, Captain Lasal Anka, let's hope that he can execute a good game today as well. And also, like he, I personally believe that he can be a bit mindful with the bowling changes and how he utilizes the bowling resources uh, of the uh, Sri Lankan side. So, wishing all the very best for the Sri Lankan team and signing off, Yasur Bandara from LN Sports.